Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Today I'm going to show you around the Royal Docks project. This is a three bedroom apartment. It is in fact a rental. This is not my client's forever home but she still wanted to put a bit of a stamp on it. She didn't want any kind of paint on the walls. She didn't want too much being done. She, she The brief was basically keep it simple but make it look nice. I want really nice furniture. So this really was more of a furnishing and style styling job but it's really nice I would say that it's really minimal it's actually probably the project that is closest to my personal style it's minimal but at the same time it's got splashes of color there's splashes of luxuriousness and it's just overall really nice simple and fresh currently sitting in the bedroom and as you can see behind me there is a painted wall although the client said she didn't want any painted walls but this is the only wall in the entire apartment that we painted and I felt that this room really needed some kind of colour and that's why we went for this wall. So I am going to show you around the project now and I really hope that you like it just as much as me and of course as usual stay tuned I have got plenty more transformations coming your way. So guys let's jump straight into what the property looked like before it was furnished and styled. As you can imagine it is a typical new build so you have typical white walls. Thank god the walls were white and not magnolia. White walls and oak flooring. As you can see it's just a big open space. You have as you enter you sort of look to your left and see the kitchen and then it leads into the living area. It's just one big space. There really isn't a defined hallway but it's a really good size space to include all the furniture that you'd possibly need and still have enough space to really walk around and maneuver so a good space to work with and a nice blank canvas to work with And here's a little look around the master bedroom which is also a very big space only that in this space there is cream carpet as opposed to the linen flooring now this is a three bedroom property however i was really only commissioned to do the open plan space which was the living dining area and the master bedroom whilst i was doing those areas i was then commissioned to style the nursery so i didn't manage to get any pictures of that but i'll show you some pictures of the after hey guys so i thought i'd give you a quick tour of the property as it is with all the boxes literally we've been doing so much shopping so this is basically the entry um come through into the kitchen stroke dining area and then the living area we've got a balcony out back there um, and then if we go straight down we have room one i'm not doing anything in this room room two i'm styling this room and then we have the master bedroom um, and my decorator handyman has already started painting yes as you can see there's some pink going on the wall there um, I love this room, there's a lot of light coming in this room as opposed to out here. Um, but yeah, that's it. As I mentioned, this is a three bedroom new build apartment. So pretty much a blank canvas to work with. There already was a kitchen, which the client didn't want to do anything to the kitchen. And there was already flooring, which is an oak colored uh, lino flooring, which she didn't really want to change because it's perfectly fine. And all the walls are white. So my job really was to come and bring it to life. The client did specify that she didn't want any paints or wallpapers on the wall. She wanted white walls and she really wanted some vibrancy brought in with the furniture. So as you enter into this apartment, it is a very big open plan space. There's really not much of a hallway per se. It's sort of like hallway, kitchen, dining and living area in one. So in order to kind of zone the spaces, I have placed two uh, sideboards um, up opposite each other, one with a mirror above it and one with a clock above it, which kind of provides a lot of symmetry. Um, so over here, as you enter, it's just nicely styled. Obviously, you need a mirror in a hallway, really, as you come in and as you leave, you really want to look at yourself. So that is perfect. And over on this side, on this shelf, guys, 
we have this amazing aquarium i will add a link to the company below and you'll be able to see it right here um, but this is such an amazing so much love and effort went into making one of these aquariums it's really artistic there's so many little fishes in there there's even snails in there guys but they seem to like hide in the rocks and then come out when they're ready um, and every time we put the camera on there they seem to shy away but this is a lovely feature for any home if you're into you know pets but you don't want anything too high maintenance then i think this is the perfect option but this kind of just sets off this area we didn't need too much going on on this shelving unit because this really is the start of the show and then above it you have just a simple clock from made and this is one of my favorite little accessory pieces it's just like everything is a okay so as my client is leaving her home she just knows everything is okay i quite love this this is a really cute piece this is actually Abigail Ahern, um, but I got this from Debenham. So this is part of her collection or collaboration with Debenham. So as we come through the sort of made up hallway, we step through into the kitchen area. As I've said, I didn't do much in the kitchen. Well, I didn't really do anything in the kitchen, but we did purchase this amazing dining table, which I think is lovely and um, with some pink chairs. Since the client didn't really want anything on the walls, we really bought the color in furniture and these make quite a nice statement. What I love about this is the fact that the pink is very feminine, but the black is quite masculine and I tend to like that kind of friction and as we walk into the living area as you can see it's a clearly defined space from the dining area but it does flow really well together because we've carried through some of the pink tones into here but also mixed it along with some yellow which really does lift the room and provide some sort of vibrancy and then if you haven't noticed already guys, the theme throughout this project in general is actually curves. We all love a bit of those curves. I wish I had more, but hey. Um, so we've got lots of curves going on in the furniture pieces, starting with this amazing uh, coffee table. This is a no bocce replica um, but it's still amazing um, it is lovely we got this from a hash classics which is an amazing brand they sell lots of really kind of like uh high-end replicas which i mean what's wrong with the replica i mean it looks pretty much the same as the real thing and you know it's still gonna last just as long it's a beautiful a beautiful coffee table lovely lovely curves which provides some sort of fluidity as opposed to it being so straight and angular then we have this beautiful rug i thought you know what if we're not going to do any pattern or wallpaper or paint on the walls we need a little bit of pattern in here although guys you guys know i'm not really a pattern girl i do prefer solids but i thought the rug sort of can bring about a bit of vibrancy and a bit of a bit of art in here let's say that the rug is actually it's quite artistic again you can see curves running through here and also similar colors to what's going on throughout the rest of the space and then we have this amazing sideboard guys i absolutely love this this is it's very different it's very unique it's sort of we've got the curves going on once again because it's quite a, like an old washed or oblong kind of shape um and it's got a gold top which is just completely just it's just like luxury isn't it it's luxury but what i love most about this is the texture it is of course mango walls i always say it's really good to invest in some key pieces of furniture in your home and i think it's best to do that with things like sideboards because this is going to last a lifetime and moving over here guys i always believe in having a reading corner and also a place where you know you can have conversation so i love if you can and you have the space it's always best to have a chair or two chairs opposite your main sofa so this is really ideal so if a few people are sitting here you can have one person here and you can really indulge in a conversation love this chair i did want something a little bit angular because the rest of the furniture is quite curvy i wanted to just scroll that off a little bit cause a little bit of friction and make the chair quite angular and you've got that here with the lines there's quite a geometric shape there and we've gone for a really poppy color which is yellow or must be yellow and it works really well in the space i always suggest 
that it's really good to um, decorate every corner of your home. Every corner should add some visual interest and some depth and I think we've achieved that over here. We have like a wall decoration which is like a sculptural wall art and we have this amazing light. Guys, you know where this light is from. Unfortunately, with, with this type of new build flat, they generally don't come with hanging lights, they generally come with spotlights. A lot of people love spotlights. I'm not a big spotlight fan and the reason I'm not is because I absolutely love lighting and I like lighting to be decorative. So the fact that there is no hanging light, we had to bring some sort of pretty lighting and I went for this light which I think again complements the curves that we've got going on in the space and then we've got a this is I think this is a a steel table which again causes a little bit of friction because you've got a steel against like the wood and all the curves and it just looks bad and obviously black works with everything but as I've mentioned the client did want the place to be quite minimal but she wanted some vibrancy um, in the furniture so you know we have pink dining chairs we have a yellow accent chair i felt we should keep the sofa which is probably the bigger furniture piece and the piece that she will probably most likely have for the longest length of time we should keep that in a neutral tone so that if she wants to change anything else out she can easily do that with this kind of sofa this sofa is really really affordable as well guys to be very honest i think this was about 600 pounds from made.com like that is an amazing price for a good quality sofa and then of course um, above the sofa we should have some sort of decoration and i went for simple line drawings which again show those pretty curves going on and i think it really sets off the space nicely and it works perfectly with the cushion over on the accent chair also went for black frames because if you've noticed we've got quite a lot of black outlines which bring a sort of like a, a chic and industrial type of vibe in here and it kind of tones down all the colors that have been used in the space and here we have the amazing master bedroom now once again the client was not too keen on having too many color too much um, any paint or wallpaper on the walls but i was like no this room we have to at least paint the wall that is going behind the headboard and so we painted this a lovely pink actually there's a really long crazy story about this wall because initially i picked up a paint without testing it because i thought oh yeah i know i know what i'm doing so i'm just gonna like put a paint on the wall and i put it up literally my decorator painted the entire wall and i was like absolutely not we're not using that pink um, so I think I might have a picture of it. If I do, I will show it in the, like I'll show it here. The following day of installation, we actually, I ran out to B&Q and I literally tried to color match the pink to this cushion because that was the pink that I wanted. I wanted kind of like a nudie pink as opposed to a really pinky bubblegum pink. And it worked out perfectly because I absolutely love this pink and I think it goes lovely with the green. Now the pink and green, trend it is a trend it is a trend but i always say when it comes to trends guys if you absolutely love something there is no problem with following that trend if you really love it don't follow trends just because it's a trend pink and green i absolutely love and i knew my client would love it too and that's why i went for it in this room it just contrasts the bed contrasts so well against the pink wall and it just the material you know the textures it's just all so fabulous i really really love this room and once again guys we've gone with curves you know we've got an arch headboard we've got a mushroom shaped table lamp we've got this amazing high quality mirror which is in like two opposing semicircles this is also the oval shop oblong shape again and then this it's just you're just getting all types of curves in this room now the wardrobes funny enough were actually inside the nursery room but i thought well these wardrobes are just too good to be in the nursery so why not move them out into the master bedroom now they are great so it's completely off of anything else that we've done in here but it completely works these are lovely panels large grey wardrobes and it really looks it, it really works with this space 
So moving on into the before of the nursery, I actually searched and found this video somewhere in my phone. As you can see, it's very simple. It's just white and it's got the cream carpet that was in the master bedroom. And like I said, in here was all about just furnishing and making it look cute. As you can also see here, the wardrobes were originally in this room and we moved them over into the master bedroom. So moving swiftly onto the little makeover, here you have, as you can see, it is just nicely styled, nothing too crazy, nothing on the walls, but it's just, you know, cute. The main aim for this room really was to rearrange the furniture slightly. So as you can see, I have rearranged the chest of drawers so that you have kind of like a step down effect on that wall. And then I've just dressed the top of that wall with some shelving and some cute wall decorations. And that's really all this room needed, a little rug on the floor. And Bob's your uncle, you have got a cute room. All the items from this room was actually purchased from H&M Home, which do really, really amazing children's items so i highly recommend that so guys i really hope that you enjoyed that video and this transformation i really really like it i feel like it's just nice it's fresh and it's just modern um and it's livable you know it's not like one of those it's not a showy showy home it's a livable home and actually the client I've come back to shoot this like actually weeks after installing it, in fact even months after installing it and the client has pretty much kept it exactly the same way which says to me that what I did here was quite a livable design. Um, so I hope that you liked it guys and I will be back again with plenty more videos, plenty more transformations coming your way. So stay tuned, do not forget to click like, comment and subscribe.